Hello and welcome back to um, a little bit more of an introduction to some basic uh, some basic knots, bends and hitches with this. Um, <clears throat> I'm now going to talk about, we've done sort of a lot of the introductory stuff. I think it's now time to get into the actual practical stuff that will be useful for you um, when you're working with, with ropes uh, on the boat, on the dock side, um, or, or just in general as you're doing things. So the first <clears throat> knot I'm going to talk about in fact, let's take a little step back. The first thing I'm going to talk about is um, knots where you have that allow you to have a loop on the end of a piece of rope. So having a piece of rope like this is is great and fantastic, but actually for attaching things and attaching it to things, just sending this loose end is no use. And what we want <coughs> is some sort of fixed loop on the end that we can use to attach to things or tie around things. Um, the first knot I'm going to talk about is called a figure of eight on a bite. And then after a figure of eight on the bite, we're going to move on to a figure of eight follow through. So <clears throat> this is probably one of my favourite knots. That's one of my favourite knots because it's the first time I can actually remember a professional interest or need for knots. Imagine this a rainy day, a summer up in the Peak District. 24 years ago, 16, 17 year old Desmond Guggen stood at the bottom of quite a tall cliff looking up with a climbing harness on climbing instructor beside him and the climbing instructor saying right tie yourself on to that rope me looking and going me you, you want me to tie the, the rope on to, to to me are you but can't you tie it on for me and the instructor saying no it's you're climbing you're the climber part of your, your climbing ability is to learn how to tie yourself on and realizing that for the first time my life was I going to depend on this piece of rope which looked pretty sturdy pretty usable you know pretty sensible quite thick but more importantly, rely on the knot that I was about to tie in that piece of rope. So you take a real interest in that. So the figure eight on the bite and the figure eight follow through are two commonly used climbing knots and alpine knots and to give you a temporary loop or fixed loop on the end of a piece of rope. And that's what the bite is referring to. The bite means a loop um, you know, in, in, a, in a piece of rope. <clears throat> Although it is commonly used in climbing, it's useful on the boat um, because it's a quick and easy to tie knot and very easy to see that it's tied correctly. It's easy to get right and easy to see that it is right. So the first thing uh, to do for tying it is to give yourself, uh, for a figure of eight in the bite, an actual bite of the rope. Take a good length of rope, you don't want too little, um, make a loop in it and all you're going to do to tie this knot is treat these two pieces of rope with a bite, with a loop on it as if it is one piece of rope and tie the same figure of eight that you tied last time. So we're going to put a loop um, onto that. You can see we've got the loop here. We're going to pass it underneath and we're going to pass that up through the top like that and tighten it as so. And immediately you can see straight away, look at that, really nice clear figure of eight and you can just look at that and see it clearly is right. We can see the traced figure of eight shape in that. When I look at that, it looks like a good knot. It looks safe. It looks good. And I can tighten that up and know that will take strain and pressure of me um, on the end of a carabiner. And then clipped onto my climbing harness and you look at that and say, yep, that is going to be pretty safe. You're going to be pretty good at that. So I mentioned one of the advantages again is it is a temporary-esque loop. So even after quite a bit of pressure, it doesn't jam too much. It's quite easy to get your fingers in here, work the outsides of the knot and loosen that knot up to untie it. And that allows us to then use the rope for some other function or put it away and store it. It's not a permanent knot um, on there. So we take a bite on our rope. We put um, a loop in, come back around underneath and then pass it through and we end up with a nice clean looking figure of eight. You can see I've tied it the other way around, <coughs> um, left over right rather than right over left. And that we know will give us a clear fixed loop. So that was the figure of eight on a bite. Come back in a minute and hopefully we'll talk about a figure of eight follow through. Thank you very much.